and welcome back savages to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to do a quick repair on a rotting fence post as you can see that's rotted quite a bit right down to the soil level as you can see just there and if you move it you can see it's kind of coming apart so that's the post there as you can see it's got a lot of wobble on it So obviously the first option is to replace the post itself, which I'm not going to be doing. That's a big job. So the next best option, which is a lot quicker, should only take about two minutes to do, is to use a system called Post Buddy. So you've got the top bits where you've got holes in. This is where you'll screw into the actual post itself above ground. And then from this point here where it's marked max, all the rest of it will be in the soil itself. So bear in mind, the post buddy will only work if you've got concrete at the bottom of your post, which I do have here. If it's just regular soil, then there's just no point in using this system. You're better off pulling the whole fence post out. So here's one I've already started. Um, I've kind of started knocking that in. It's got to go as close to the post as possible. So it's between the post and the concrete, which is what I've done there. So I'm going to knock it down to ground level to about the K here using a club hammer. And then after I've done that, I'm using these screws to screw it onto the post. So the idea is, is to put one post buddy just here, and there's going to be one just here on the side as well, on that side as well, just to secure it. So I'm going to go and do that now. So there we go, that's both pieces of the post buddy um, hammered down into the soil. So that's the front piece. That's the marker for the max. I mean, you can have it a bit above there, but that's as low as you should be going. And then the same on the one on the side, just there. That's all the way down there. So the next thing we need to do is just screw those into the post. So you all screwing the second one in. There we go. So I'm just going to fill the rest of these in. So we've got a nice secure fixing. And then we'll come back and test it in a minute. So there you go, savages. Um, both post buddies are in there. I'm not going to fill all the uh, screws in because I think that's a bit overkill. So I've just done one, missed one. So you've got basically four in each. Same for that side. So the moment of truth, let's give it a wobble. So I'm just wobbling it here at the bottom. That is rock solid. So we're all done there. Both post buddies are in place with the screws. Let's give this fence post a shake and it's much better i mean there's a little bit of a shake but that might be some of the other posts need doing as well but for this one it's a lot more sturdier so there you go savages that's how to quickly fix a rotten fence post without having to remove one and replacing it entirely these post buddies are really good and you can get the job done in about two minutes i'll leave a link in the description to all the parts i used to do this job so give it a try and leave a comment in the uh, comment section and let me know how you got on. But other than that, um, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and I'll see you savages on the next one.